And oh, wait a minute. We turn oh, to we Kostaki Economopolis. Kostaki! Uh, Dateline, Los oh, Angeles, California. It's ready for uh, uh, St. Patrick's Day early. Kostaki. Yes, ma'am. Um, uh, joining us for our uh, uh, NFL uh, update with all the activities yesterday, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, a lot going on. Uh, yeah. What's happening, Kostaki? <laughs> well, good morning. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers has emerged from the darkness, not metaphorically, just literally. Uh, he, he, he did a darkness retreat. He was hoping to, quote, have a better sense of where I'm at. Yeah, you're in trouble with English teachers. That's where you're at. <laughs> Science teachers also want nothing to do with you. <laughs> Imagine the balls it takes to go into a cave for four days of complete darkness to ponder whether you're going to uphold your end of a contract that will pay you $60 million for one year to play a child's game. Yeah. <laughs> That's where the darkness comes from. He just rests his gigantic scrotum right in his face. It's the perfect eye. <laughs> mask <laughs> got significant weight to the testicles and the periphery scrotum flesh fills in the light gaps mm -hmm. <laughs> it's got a built-in heater by definition it's always body temperature it's nice huh? sure you know if you stay in the dark long enough and think hard enough you can hear vince lombardi rolling over in his grave that's, that's what's happening <laughs> oh yeah Rogers has been uh, talking about all this on the Pat McAfee show. Maybe Pat should take a darkness retreat, too, so he can see the light on wearing tank tops every day. <laughs> it's a trademark. <laughs> yeah, well, I know. But most Packer fans have done a darkness retreat, you know, overnight in a cell after a DUI. <laughs> Similar. <laughs> Similar. The Bears trade the number one overall pick to the Panthers. Now Carolina uh, are number one in, uh, uh, in two things, the NFL draft and tobacco lobbyists per capita. So that's nice. <laughs> A cash prop for that reason. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Bears have officially bought the Arlington Park property. Uh, they're moving to the suburbs, but at their current yardage rate, that could take the Bears 50 years. <laughs> it might take a while to get there. <laughs> Nobody wants to touch Lamar Jackson, which is weird. Uh, it's the opposite of what happened with Deshaun Watson. He wanted to touch everybody. You see, that's <laughs> <laughs> Reports say, this story broke since I talked to you guys. Tom Brady's going to pursue his dream of doing stand-up comedy. Oh, oh I hadn't heard guy. this. Had anybody uh, else? Well, yeah. I had. I would... <laughs> Take my wife. Ah, oh, too late. <laughs> <laughs> That's the perfect joke. He should just get up there, do that, and leave. Yeah. <laughs> he should. He should. I suspect Tom Brady will not be very good at comedy, at least until the last two minutes. Then he's going to kill. <laughs> this guy. I think if Giselle had told him there were two minutes left, he could have saved his marriage. Oh, oh. Oh. Brady says he has no time for an NFL comeback. Uh, because of a newly adopted cat. Just another case of a little pussy scrambling a man's brain. <laughs> <laughs> happens. Buck senior advisor Bruce Arians said we're in good hands with Kyle Trask. <clears throat> Nobody believes that. <laughs> Even Kyle's mom heard that and thought, God, the Buccaneers are going to suck. <laughs> And finally, the Eagles have proposed overhauling jersey numbers to include zero. Huh. Uh, the, the only complete zero so far in the NFL, Johnny Manziel, everybody. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Kostaki Economopoulos. <laughs> Kostaki Economopoulos has a little thing that he runs. It's called All Pro Lines. You can uh, follow his uh, NFL stuff and contribute. Uh, jokes, et cetera, et cetera, as the uh, NFL continues to uh, be in the in the uh, construction mode, I guess, for next season. Oh, uh, it's so fun. Interesting so many to see what's going to happen. Bits of news coming out. Yeah, it's exciting. Um, how did you end up doing finally in your various uh, fantasy leagues there, Kostaki? Well, I was all over the map. I had a couple teams that did well and then blew it in the playoffs. But I did win my home league. Mahomes alone. Champions, baby. All right. Congrats. Mm. Yeah. That was fun. That's I enjoyed great, that. Great, a great name. Now we should also point out that uh, Mr. Economopolis is um, on the road, and if I'm not mistaken, let's see. Today's coming up in a couple days. You'll be at Twin Falls, Idaho, at the Canyon Crest Event Center. Am I getting this right on Thursday evening? 
Yeah, that's right. Idaho this weekend. Fun. I'm excited. And then Friday and Saturday, at Boise uh, at the uh, lounge at the end of the universe. Oh, cool. That'll be yeah, fun. Yeah, that's a great little that room. That sounds like yeah. a quite I've, a I've, place. I've always heard that's very fun and awesome. That's quite a drive, though. Well, from there. <laughs> end of the I'll universe. fly. I'll <laughs> fly. Yeah, that's very nice. <laughs> uh, and um, uh, also, uh, Kostaki, mm. uh, we should point out that you are um, more or less a newly single man. Is that correct? Yeah, I don't think of myself that way, but yes, I'm I'm available. <laughs> now, yeah, give been, me a ring. Now, have you been uh, uh, making any efforts in the realm no. of dating? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I've been drinking and playing poker, and I've been enjoying my single life very much. And what about that nurse? Way. What about that nurse? <laughs> no, I never. I didn't ever talk to the nurse again. Oh, so that oh one, boy. Really. That one didn't work out, but it did get me sort of like through the fear thing. You know what I mean? Like Good. it was, I it, do was know it was an yeah. important step for me. Like, sure. ah, who cares if it works out? I'll just throw. I got throw some it advice for you, Kostaki. Never forget. Like never forget Superman. Yes. Superman had a fortress of solitude. Just him. <laughs> you can't. <help. laughs> so Superman. Did you ever meet women at the poker table? Very rarely. It's like comedy. There just aren't many women doing it. You know, there's. I thought you were going to say there aren't any uh, really good women doing it. Oh. Oh, I, <laughs> no, no. I, you, if I see Jennifer Tilly sitting at a poker oh, table, I'm, yeah. I'm probably not going to win. Yeah, she can. She could flop a big pair. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well. Stocky, well, you would you it's look like at? We planned it. Would you look at Jennifer Tilly? And go, Pardon me. This might be awkward. <laughs> you know, but while we're sitting here playing poker. I'm going to play with myself. <laughs> Solitary, if you will. I, I would uh, yeah. okay. I'm going to fold. <laughs> Jack under the I'll fold bed. first. I, I thought you were pursuing, Kostaki, I thought you were pursuing the uh, the so-called dating apps. Uh, I experiment a little bit with Tinder, but it's a it's a nightmare. <laughs> you, you kind of did your Norm MacDonald there. Are you on the dating app? Yeah, well. There it is. Uh, one yeah. of those uh, called whores. Yeah. That's what they are. Yeah, that's Maybe right. you could do some kind of a casting call in Idaho this weekend. A casting? Oh, that's a, that's a good, that's a good phrasing. After the show's <laughs> over, after that's right. ladies, oh, ladies, line anybody up. who wants to meet Kostaki, is that yeah. what you're saying? And yeah. if they want, if they want to buy you a drink, they come up to you, Kostaki, and they say, "Bump it, bump, bump." Yep, that's that? the, that's yeah, that's the key word. That's the key word. What? Bump what, what is this? Bump 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 We're going to get you laid, buddy. Oh. <laughs> I, I appreciate the idea. Well, no, we can't guarantee <laughs> the gender. No. Right. <laughs> or, or whether you'll be giving or receiving. <laughs> right. you got to get laid. But, Tom, oh, there's no gender go. anymore. Tom, haven't you heard? Yeah. Oh, oh, fluid. That's right. Right. We'll remember you said that. Yeah. yeah. yeah that, that fluid in your face. <laughs> if, we, if you come back next week and you're gender fluid and you're standing, we'll know. From... Hey, uh, uh, never by mind. the way, by the way, now that gender is over, I think learning foreign languages is going to be a lot easier. Oh, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I believe oh, you mean yeah. la tabla. No, <laughs> my tables are non-binary. Go <laughs> after <laughs> <right>. <laughs> uh, Well, thanks, Kostaki. Uh, these should be great shows. Kostaki's terrific live. Bumpity Once bump, again, bump. Um, am I correct in saying we're beginning Thursday evening at the Canyon Crest Event Center, Twin Falls, Idaho? Yes. Okay, then. And then Friday and Saturday, the lounge at the end of the universe. Yeah, I, I, the gigs in Idaho have always been fun. I'm excited about getting back there. Oh, I so. love that. Yeah. Okay. Love, boys. Thank you very much, Kostaki. We'll talk Thank to you. Thank you, guys. Have a great time.